far. Oh, Mike had just texted us. He was supposed to be here for the podcast, but uh, Dude, he, he was obviously with, was not. He was hanging with Big Reno <laughs> at uh, Big Reno's bar in Can Fargo. Can we screen record this and put this up on his... I don't know yes, why. We it's just so to. funny, dude. Micah was hammered. God, he, I love Mike. I just, know I give him a lot of shit, but Mike is so, so funny. funny, dude. So I funny. get such a kick out of just him doing his life. <laughs> he just texted, <laughs> misplaced my phone last night and had to track it down, but I'll be back by 12. Might be, guys. I know we were trying to run the pod at 11 so we could enjoy the day. Don't worry, Mike. We're already Let, running. Let's see. Where's he at? So the best thing is, is, yeah, he said he'll be back by 12. He's just leaving town right now, and it's 11.50. Yeah, and so now it is 12, basically, and he is still not even left. You want to know, though? I At least he was hanging with Big Reno. Like, that's, it was that's true. true. Yeah. You know, it was for a good cause. The best way to operate things with Mike involved is to just not care if he's there or not. It is. Like, that's the only way that we've continued to just, like, not get mad at him for just not showing up. Ever. Or just, like, completely dropping the ball on things. Just don't expect anything from him. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yes, yes. Just, Basically, if, if he's there, it's an added bonus. If not, we got somebody that can just stand in. You mm-hmm. just got to lie about what your due date is and, like... Like this the time we, we want to do the podcast at noon. So you got to say, Hey, we got to do the podcast at 11. But or even I'll, today, on dude, Mike's time though, we would have had to have tell him, yo dude, we're going to do this podcast at seven 30 in the morning. And, but then he would have just been like, well, I'm not going to make that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just wouldn't that you can only be so like ridiculous with yeah, your times. I, I don't even really get that mad anymore at this point. Yeah. Honestly, I, I don't either. Cause I feel like it's just like, uh, it's just Mike. Dude, so, he's listening to this right now. He's like, finally, it took him six freaking years to find it. No, it's working. <laughs> no, no. It's just, we're just used to it. I know I give Mike, I just want to say this. I know I give Mike a lot of shit because it's just funny, like the hot dog thing and whatever else. He's kind of embraced that. But Mike is honestly a superstar. Mm -hmm. He is. He's so funny. Good kid. And he's Mm -hmm. he's a good guy. And he's not here right now to hear me say this, but it's true. I'll say it to the listeners. Like when we were pulling up, but he is also very predictable. I've known him. I know him now. <laughs> it's like, for instance, we're in the Mudstang, and he mentions, "Oh, there's a graffiti bridge up here. I used to, <laughs> I used to graffiti down here." I go, "No way. Well, let's go pull up and on the video and and check it out. That'll be funny." And I tell you guys, I go, "He probably wrote his name." And I was just like, I was just genuinely thinking. I'm like, and he goes, "I wouldn't do that." I'm like, "Dude, I don't know. It sounds, sounds like something you do. Just incriminate yourself." <laughs> we get there, he's like. Yeah, well, I did post some pics of me spray painting to my Facebook. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's worse than writing your name. <laughs> Just doesn't. No, no fucks. I love when we get Mike going, like when we're all like teaming up on him and just like harassing him about something. And he always has the same. No, no, no that's not that's true. Not right. That's not true. Like he'll just cut you off when you're talking and then we'll all just talk over him. And he'll, no, no. Yeah, dude, fuck. We we got a great friend group. I'm just going to say mm-hmm. it. It's so funny. And 